guys, Anthony here with a, another video on the iPhone 4S. Now, last time, last video we talked about some of the main features of the phone. Uh, this case was off, but now it's back on because we do not need to take it off anymore. Uh, last video we basically uh, demonstrated all the ports of what they were, uh, the cameras, stuff like that. Um, this video. I will go over, like I said before in the last video, we will go over all the features that uh, this phone has. Um, now, one thing I wanted to discuss was the notification feature is obviously not new, but we can go over it anyway. Uh, basically, when you slide your finger up like an Android phone out of the top of the screen, you'll just pull it down. You'll get everything here. And obviously, you can see the local weather appears. Um, if you have the Facebook app, you can uh, type to post something here. And it'll once you post it, it'll say via iOS, basically showing you have an iOS system that your uh, post was posted by. And you have a stock, uh, a stock bar, basically showing Nike, Verizon Wireless is another one, um, and some other ones that I'm not sure what they are by heart. Apple is one other one, Google, Yahoo, stuff like that. Uh, obviously, that's all manageable in the settings tab. Um, now we can go ahead. Now one of the features I wanted to uh, talk about was the uh, Reminders tab. Now Reminders is a feature by Apple which was put on the phones. I cannot remember when but they're kind of new. Whoops. And um, anyway, basically Reminders is a little feature that if you go to uh, today and you put like a new thing, you can put like uh, make a YouTube now my uh, typing is not going to be all that great I'll just put tune for example make make a tune and you click on this little arrow and now basically it's going to remind you on that day so it'll remind me Thursday January the 10th 2013 at 5 p.m. which would be today and you can repeat it remind you at a location meaning current location when I leave or when I arrive you could do if you do when I arrive um, I guess it will show you when you arrive somewhere, I don't know. And of course when the when you're done with it, you can just always put a little check mark and it will basically show us completed later. And you can see uh, Thursday, January the 10th, 2013, make a tune was completed, or make tune in this case. That's a pretty good feature, it reminds you it's really accurate. When I had an interview one day, it actually showed me the interview. And it reminds you a few minutes ahead and before and stuff like that. Uh, another feature is the passbook. Pass another thing by Apple, it's basically it's a passbook is the simplest way to get all your passes in one place. Uh, basically, it's boarding passes, movie tickets, store cards, coupons. Store cards can be from anywhere from uh, like I think like gift cards or something like that. Loyalty cards for stores and services. It basically says. Uh, coupons, discounts for like it's, it's obviously just coupons. They scan your phone basically. So instead of carrying coupons and stuff, I guess you scan stuff. And basically, you would go to the app store, and you could go through a whole bunch of stuff and download them. So obviously, you got the Apple Store, you got Starbucks, you got uh, Fandango Movie, uh, Living Social, Eventbrite, whatever that is. You got a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, you got Target, Walgreens, stuff like that. And uh, it's just basically keeping all your stuff in one place. Instead of scanning the card, they would actually scan your phone. And it would show everything in that one spot. Um, pretty good feature. Uh, another one would be the newsstand, which I haven't really used, but I guess it's magazines and newspapers in the App Store. Uh, I guess we can go to the store and see what that is all about because I've never seen it before. It basically looks like you can get some books and magazines and stuff like that, newspapers. Something I wouldn't really use, obviously, as you can see, I haven't used it before. And, um, <clears throat> that would pretty much go for the newsstand. It's not really all that popular. And then you got your, I guess, map was improved on iOS 6. We could see it later on. Well, actually, right now. If you put it in 3D mode, it'll basically show you in 3D. Uh, show location. Um, now, uh, data is from TomTom. Tom. You can basically show traffic. Whoops. Let me just reposition this in my hand. 
uh, hybrid mode is, I don't know, and then satellite mode would be your best, because you can get more of what you got. And you can just zoom in and see what you can see. Like, I don't know what this part is. It looks like some kind of building with a whole bunch of cars in it. I'm not sure where, what it is, but... A little updated. I don't know how much updated it is because I don't really use the map. Um, so that would do it for maps. Now, if you wanted to, uh, like I said before, in your notification center, you can go to notifications and um, you could sort apps by manually by time. And in notification center, you got your weather widget, your share widget, your phone messages, passbooks, you know, reminders. Uh, speaking of passbooks, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Um, passbooks is a feature where when you arrive and it'll detect, like if you arrive at a Starbucks, for an example, and you have like I don't know, ten bucks on a card, basically, star the phone will remind you saying you have a you're at Starbucks, you have a card for ten dollars, you could use that or whatever. It's all up to you. Anyways, this is where you manage all your notifications, like messages would be ba badges and banners. And stuff like that. It's just pretty, you know, self-explanatory. The mobile hotspot's another one that gets a lot of people's attention for the iPhone. Uh, personal hotspot came with my Verizon for free because I only have four gigabytes of data. And obviously, it's you know all the same stuff. You turn the password on. You basically get your computer connected to it, and you go from there. Um, and then you just manage all your other apps in the settings tab. Uh, one last feature that I really want to talk about, actually two more, is the App Store is now fully updated to a new um, to a new design. I I think it was yeah, new design. And basically, as you can see, everything's all updated. You know, you know your apps are kind of different now, like your free apps. You got a flashlight. You know, Instagram. I've never heard of Instagram. Uh, the Pandora radio, QR code readers, stuff like that. It's all different icons. And if you go click on see all, this will come up. But if you search something, like uh, we could search, I don't know, Angry Birds. And I just spelled that totally wrong. Okay, so you could do Angry Birds, for example. And basically, now the setup of the design is a little different. Now you see one app at a time instead of seeing all five or 20 at a time or something like that. It's a little better. It gives you more detail. shows you a nicer, clearer picture. If you go click on one of them, you can see this one's 99 cents for Angry Birds regular. You can go look at reviews. Um, it gives you a nice little thing, a uh, nice little diagram of it related. Is another one you can see all the related things to it. Details is the same. Um, that's pretty much it with the App Store. It's not really you know all that big. And then of course if you double tap, you close all this stuff out. Now another feature I want to talk about is um, iTunes. I guess is a little updated too. Like, obviously, you can see all my recent purchases, Aerosmith, Akon, Alicia Key, stuff like that. I'm not going to worry about that too much. We can go to music section. And then you got all the, this is all newly set up, too. Now, for most of you guys who don't know, um, basically, another feature on this phone, obviously, as you can see, it's the iPhone 4S, so it is installed with Siri. Uh, now, Siri can be managed through the settings tab, and um, I'm not sure where exactly she would be located. I cannot remember. But um, basically, if you hold the home key down, the home button down, if you hold it down, you can ask her questions. Like, this is an Android or Google Talk where you have to say specific commands. Basically, you can say anything like, uh, Siri, what is the weather? Is it going to rain today, for example? And she'll tell you if it's going to rain, it's going to snow, whatever. You can ask her, you could basically say, Siri, I'm hungry. And then she'll give you a whole list of restaurants that are by you. You know, you can, uh, I don't know, you can say, you can tell her, ask her jokes. Siri, tell me a joke. She'll tell you a joke, but she doesn't really finish them. It's 
give a, a few examples here. Siri, what is the best phone? Wait, there are other phones? Now, as you can see, she'll basically say there are other other phones, you know, to be a little smart one, but you could be other one. You could say it's other things like, I'm hungry, we'll do that one. Siri, I'm hungry. I found 15 restaurants fairly close to you. And then you can see she'll list all the restaurants, basically... Closest one to me would be uh, 0 0.1 miles. I've never heard of the restaurant before, but you can scroll down and see which ones you like. They're all reviews, and uh, basically all these search results are by Yelp. Now, you can also ask her math questions. Siri, what is the square root of 64? Now, she says the square root of 64 is 8, which is correct, and uh, this is obviously by Wolf, Wolfram Alpha Team. Basically, the, she refer, I guess Siri refers to a server, and she'll get your search results pretty quick. Uh, I'm obviously on, I'm not on my 3G, so I don't know how quick it would be, really. And you can obviously navigate to places. Um, for an example, I can navigate to GameStop, or, you know, we'll av navigate to an Apple store. Siri, can you navigate to an Apple store? I found nine Apple stores. Tap the one you want directions to. Now, Apple Store Walden Gallery would be in Buffalo, which is the Walden Gallery, yeah? And you can basically go through any of these, click on one, and she'll give you directions right to them. You can say other things like, uh, she has been improved for sports now, basically. Siri, what was the Bills score? Okay, so basically you can ask her scores. Uh, another thing is you could basically ask her this. You could say, uh, what's the weather like? Or in other terms, you could say uh, things like, is it going to snow today or tomorrow? Wh whatever you want. Where the point is, what Google Talk or whatever Android's running, you know, you have to do specific commands. Siri was designed for more of, you could say, kind of like user-friendly. You could ask her pretty much anything and she'll respond to you. Stuff like that. Uh, we could do the joke next. Siri, can you tell me a joke? How many iPhones does it take to? Okay, never mind. And obviously you can see she doesn't finish. You can ask her again. Siri, can you tell me a joke? I can't. I always forget the punchline. And basically she admits she forgets the punchline. Uh, you can ask her other things like, can you marry me? Siri, can you marry me? You should know that you're not the only one who's asked. So basically, she's uh, referring to everybody else has been asking her. And uh, you can ask her, uh, we'll ask her about the weather. Siri, what is the weather going to be like? Here's the weather through Tuesday. And basically, she gives you the weather till Tuesday of next week. And you can basically see it's going to be sunny, it's pretty good temperatures. And uh, basically, you can ask other things like, uh, define words, like, um, I don't know what kind of word we can even define, uh, we'll define computer. Define computer. Here's what I found. She basically puts a machine, uh, for performing calculations automatically, or an expert at calculation or operating calculating machines. Uh, I'm not really sure what, I guess that could be one of the definitions, but there's probably tons of them. But basically, that's it for Siri. You know, you could ask her other things too, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail about it. I mean, you could ask her to search things for you, like uh, search YouTube. If you like, I can search the web for YouTube. Maybe you can just click search web. Searching the web for YouTube. She kind of says YouTube, funny in my opinion. Um. Now, basically, you you can you have different things. Uh, she uses Safari, but I use Google Chrome. Uh, you can see iMessages is glowing because I'm getting texts, but you can ignore those. Another thing you could do is ask her for um. There's another one. I I forget what the command was though. Well, not command. But I forget what it was. But you can ask her a whole bunch. Oh, you know what? That's what it was. You can basically uh, make her text somebody for you. Like, I could, uh, ask her to, um, 
I guess your answer read uh, text messages for me, for example. Siri, read my text messages for me. You have a message from my Wiffy and one from Joe Salverson. From my Wiffy. Okay. Colon. Hey, I, I, I. From Joe Salverson. Okay, and I have the Xbox Live Tinji. You can't reply. Now, you obviously see... Now, some words she kind of gets confused out, but other ones you... It, it all depends on how people text, too. Like, sometimes people do spelling errors and stuff like that. But she obviously reads text for you. She calls people. Like, you could you could say, uh, Siri, call my mom, and she'll ask you who is your mom and stuff like that. Like, I could ask what my birthday is. Siri, what is my birthday? I don't know when your birthday is. She doesn't know what my birthday is, but she'll pull up all my stuff, and, um, the address is kind of old, so I don't care about that anymore, but, uh, basically she'll just pull up information. Now, most of your information will be stored on your contacts, where if you go to, uh, whatever your last name would be, like, you can see here, I'm Lloyd, so my, all my information's right here, and she'll just pull up all that information and stuff like that. You can say, hey, Siri, I want to go home, and whatever you have stuff for home, she'll just, she'll go from there and direct you home. You can even say things like, Siri, I'm lost. Siri, I'm lost. Things like, she's, you're lost. She'll give you the closest location, navigate, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it with Siri. There's not really much else I could think of right now but that'll conclude this video guys um, thanks for watching uh, please comment rate subscribe and more will be coming very soon thank you